Hello everyone, it's my 24th birthday today. You're probably looking at me going, what is on her face? Um, <laughs> I forgot to do this last night, so I'm doing it now. I'm hair removaling my mustache. Um, the little things in life make me feel pretty and I think I think it's important to get this message out to each and every one of you to trust yourself and give everything in life your all and you know what um, you are worth it and you're worth pampering yourself you're worth every <laughs> all the money in the world you know you shouldn't have to question that you shouldn't have to go oh that's like a hundred dollars to spend on myself. You know what stuff it you work hard for that money. It's yours. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Because once you know your self-worth, once you know why you're put on this earth, you it's just you don't question it, you just do it and you're happy you live your life. And <laughs> I look like an idiot right now, but I'm happy and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly remove this. Okay. Try not to eat it. It does not taste good. <laughs> um, just a bit of that. Ugh, I think a little bit went in my mouth. <laughs> okay. I'll just wipe that off. And yes, I'm in my pyjamas in my beauty room. And I'm standing in front of my mirror and... Yes, a little bit red um, and half done this eyebrow and like I just that's why I wanted to do a video I wanted to show you how I do my makeup a little bit and you know what I'm 24 today I'm not gonna cake on the makeup um, I'm just going to do a little video to show you that you can feel good on your birthday and you can do this at home you can do this yourself and it just feels awesome so let me put this in the bin um, and I'm just going to go ahead with my Arbonne. It's, you know, this is what I use for after waxing. This is the Calm Range. Um, and it's got a little silver ball on the end. So it's, it just takes down that redness so, so quick. I'll, all I do is after, even just hair removal cream. I mean, I wax my brows even just straight after that. Put, put that on, obviously. When I use that on clients, I sanitize it. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then because it's it's an eye gel, it's a serum, it's going to penetrate a lot deeper um, and it's going to really calm down that redness. Not that there's much, can you see? Not too much. And then obviously finish with the Calm um, Moisturizer. Just that, look, that's way too much, but it's my birthday, we're going all out. Just a little bit on there, rub it into my hands, you know, don't, don't waste it. Um, and then I'm going to go in and just put a little bit of my makeup on. Um, I'm actually, my, my one is buff. And if you haven't already tried this foundation, I cannot stress it enough. It is, like being a beauty therapist and a makeup artist, it is full coverage without the full feel. Um, this is just my Real Techniques brush that I use on myself. and um, But do you know what? I'll show you. This is the Arbonne one and it is amazing, but I've got to get, I've got to order another one just for myself. This is one I use in salon. It's dense. Um, it's cruelty free. It is synthetic. So it's man-made. It's not natural bristles. So it's beautiful. It's soft on, it's soft to touch. It is a pleasure to use and it's very dense. Look at this. Can you see? Where is it? There it is. It's very dense. It's actually called a mineral powder foundation. But I use it and I recommend to all my clients to use it. Use it in the morning and, you know, whenever you're putting your foundation on and use it for liquid because it buffs it on and you don't get, like, I kid you not, you won't get any streak marks. Like if you used a flat foundation brush, um, for instance, this is what I'm talking about. If that, that's painting it on, you will get streaked marks. Easy to fix. I still use this for, you know, concealing under the eyes. Um, I'm not knocking it. I love it. And, you know, like, I'm just here 
to say that you're you're definitely worth sorry you're definitely worth putting in that effort now just a bit of bronzer I've got the base down I've done a little bit of um, powder to set it but you know I, I see a lot of makeup I see a lot of faces there and I want to help them and I go you know like this is it's not exactly what you're doing wrong but it's what um, what you can improve and just those little tricks of the trade um, and that's what I'm here for you know I'm here to coach and I'm here to to really help help others and that's what I'm doing in Arbonne and it is I'm high on life I'm living my dream I I mean if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram do I post anything negative I don't because I don't live a negative life and um, I think that's so important you've got to be true to yourself you've got to be true to others and people will see right through you if you don't if you honestly are like I want your money you know I need to sell products don't be like that you know I don't pressure my pressure my clients and I hope to God that I don't I don't ever make them feel pressured I just want to better better them better their skin and you know this is amazing this brush it feels great I'm just now what I'm doing I'm, I'm warming up my tone in my skin not that you can probably see I'll see if the the lights up all the way but um, this is just a bit of bronzer and what it does is it gives it brings in the warmth so I don't look like a zombie no lines um, nice and warm you can use it to contour which I should actually do some more videos on um, throughout you know in the next coming weeks or so I, I might actually do some tutorials if you guys are interested if you if you watch this please let me know and I, I'm happy to do that so all right next I'm going to do my brows okay so you can see here this one's already I've already done um, half of it what I've done this is this is what you can do at home okay obviously you're gonna have a nice wax like mine um, you're going to want to get a mascara wand I if you come in if you're my waxing clients every client gets one of these given to them after you know the $15 eyebrow wax I mean I look after my clients and I see the pointers in they're going to use that for their brows and I'm gonna I have to chuck that away for hygiene purposes so why not give it to them okay so you want to brush all your brows down look can you see that okay and then I obviously use a very nice soft pencil um, then you want to draw that see I've already done it that top line then you want to brush it back into place and what brushing does is it softens that line you, you want to look natural girls you don't want to look like I've just drawn on my eyebrows and you can tell you want to look and feel beautiful and I'm here to show you how right so you want to and if you can see that line it's all about blending and you just keep brushing it just gently if you go too much you can have to reapply um, okay then with this one oh, I'm I might have to look in the mirror for this because it's not working so um, oh hang on I'll just do it this way okay and then filling in the bottom and just a little bit up okay this is such a dodgy job because I could barely see. Okay, I filled it in a little bit. <laughs> Brush it. Okay, that's give me two seconds, I'll do the other side. Okay, feeling not that this side really needs it. Okay. Nice and clean. I'm just gonna double check the other side. Okay, underneath and up top and I'm just doing what I just showed you nothing you know you're not missing out on it just because you're not seeing it and um, there they are not too dark I've, I am quite dark you can keep softening it by brushing it remember if you if you think it's too dark then what I do <clears throat> is I go in with Arbonne's eyebrow gel um, okay it's clear and then I just this sticks them down I mean I trim my eyebrows so obviously I don't get flyaways and if it's a bit dark it'll take that excess off that'll keep them in place all day then what I do is I just 
this is so important, okay? You must know. I've got big bug eyes, okay? I conceal under my eyes. I don't want any um, more darkness under there than I, than I naturally have. I never put mascara on my bottom lashes. That's imperative. Because what that does is it'll create a shadow and you'll, you'll look like you've got more bags than you want. So at the moment, I've concealed under here. It's looking, I'm not looking like I've had, you know, um, two hours, three hours sleep. Um, concealed under there. My eyebrows are on point. Now, what I'm going to go ahead is just get a beautiful cream um, neutral colour base and just drawing that on top. This is going to define the top of your brows, okay? That's just a beautiful neutral, like light, and then one finger touch to blend it in, okay? Just be mindful you're not going to wipe your brow off. Because obviously you can do that. Everything's not going to stay, you know, like on. Then a beautiful shimmer, okay, underneath. And right, oops, oops, I can fix that. See, I've just accidentally put the shimmer on my brows. I'm half asleep, I must admit. Um, but I'm so excited to get this video out and, and show you. Okay, so this is highlighting and just blend that in. It's a beautiful cream. Highlighting under your brows and it really makes it frames your face. So a little bit more under here Okay, and blend it in a little bit more Under there Blending it in. Okay, now I'll just fix that a little bit Easy quick fix, you know if I, I do this all the time Okay, and then I'll just soften it with that. Soften it again. There we go. You wouldn't even know. Um, <clears throat> what else have I got next? I've got my beautiful um, cheek, Arbon cheek brush, and the Country Garden palette. It is discontinued, but I love it. It's a bronzer and a beautiful blush. What I do is I just give myself a little bit of a little bit of color on my cheeks, you know. I like I like to stand out with that my zygomatic bone and um, see that little bit of shimmer. Just that little bit, like that's great. Okay, just that little bit, and then whatever whatever's excess, just you know, brush that and give give a little bit of color everywhere else <clears throat> okay what I'm going to do now is show you um, they're my favorite um, it's a long story mascara okay it is amazing don't ever ladies don't pump it you're putting more air back into it you're aerating it and you're going to get clumpy um, clumpy lashes and a clumpy formula. And it's not going to last as long. So pull in, pull out. <laughs> um, okay. So what I do is I just sort of support. And I blink whenever. And I'll come over this way. And this is hypoallergenic. Everyone that knows me knows that um, a few years ago I've had laser eye surgery, so I don't have to wear glasses. Yay! But do you know what that means for life? I have to be so careful about what I put near my eyes. Um, the other day I was half asleep and I was putting this on and I poked myself in the eye. I just got a little red. It was a little sore because obviously the brush hit my eyeball, but no reaction. I was amazed. Um... And with other nasty ingredients in all, you know, just be mindful. Just educate yourself. What are you, what's in your mascara? How old is your mascara? Um, you know, this mascara I think retails at like 46, if memory serves. And I would pay that because it works and it's it's amazing for my lashes. It's, it's actually grown my lashes because it's hydrating them. It's encouraging growth. I'm blinking it through and I think what's important is the wand the wand is imperative okay um, 
it's it's a formula formulation and a wand. Look, I have lashes, just a couple like little quick coats. Um, and it's not enough for me yet, so I just keep going. Um, I keep going. Sorry, I'm like trying to concentrate and look in there and using this as a mirror and it's quite difficult. My first actual video, so I'm quite proud. And um, yeah, so I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I'm making a video, um, which is, you know, it's like, wow, but I want to get the message out there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, see, I always do that. I just, you know, make it worse, but it's a quick and easy fix. Okay. I'll just double check this in the mirror. Now I do actually pop it back in because this is my own personal one. All right. And you can sanitize this. It's a rubber, um, brush. You can, you know, boiling water is not going to hurt it. And, um, if I, I always say to my clients and even, you know, I even support some of my clients are Arbonne consultants as well. And it's not a competition. It's not, you know, I'm against them and, you know, I can't share things with them. I think the Arbonne is so much like we are all in it together. It doesn't matter who sponsored you. It doesn't matter that, you know, you're not on my, t if you're not on my team, that I'm going to shut you out. That's not how it works. We are all in it together and we lift each other up and we succeed together and we are high on life. And as you can see, I have no regrets. I'm living life with no regrets and I wake up every day and I have that gut feeling like whose life can I change today? Who, who can I ask that I think, you know, they could benefit from Arbonne's opportunity? They, you know, like financial freedom. There's so much more like, do you want time to stay at home with your kids? I'm setting my business up before my husband and I have um, try again for kids because I think it's imperative that, you know, we, we're financially secure and we can start our family. I mean, I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying other people have done it wrong. There's just different ways that you can do things and some are better than others. But I think before um, we have our children, before we bring the blessings into our lives, we can, you know, we've got financial freedom and you know what? Life is too short to not to not have a taste of the riches. Life is too short to hold on to that money. Um, I think you need to just check what's in your bank. And if you've got a lot of money sitting there, you don't know how long you've got. You might go out and you might be in a car accident. And I hate to say it, but it's life. Live life. Don't hold on to regrets. Don't hold on to... Um, that that money um you know yeah where we are actually sacrificing we're paying off our mortgage and i i'm glad to say um you know what i'm 24 today my husband's 35 in october and everyone's like whoa what's happening gold digger no there's no gold here we make our own gold okay we we work hard and we make our Oh, sorry, that's really awkward. We make our own success and we make other people successful and it's the best feeling in the whole damn world. Um, it's not a job. It is a blessing. And, you know, you've got to be respectful. Sometimes, well, actually, all the time, every day, I get no. Everyone says no. That's okay. You know, um, people will have their own opinion. I'm a beauty therapist. People will go, ah, do you know how hard it is? People look at this as in, no, that's MLM. Do you know what that means? It's called multi-level marketing. Um, and they haven't tried the products. They knock it before they try it because they think, oh my God, it's another Arbonne consultant. Yet they don't know anything about the products. They haven't tried them. Look at my skin. I can't believe the results and the fact that a lot of professional products have a lot of harmful ingredients in them. Like, for instance, sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium lauryl sulfate, they're both as bad as each other. They are foaming agent in your shampoos, 
in all soaps and soap is it's horrible for you um it actually strips your ph levels in your skin which you know will entail in in it'll actually aid you because it's stripping your ph oh see i just poked myself in the eye um didn't even like look no redness I just poked myself in the eye. I wasn't really concentrating. I'm half asleep, but I want to get this message out. And um, a couple little more goes. And I'll fix up under my eye. I'll show you how easy that is. Um, I just wet that. It's a bit gross, but you know, this is what I do for myself. Obviously, I don't do that for clients. But it's quick and easy and... There we go. See a bit red? <clears throat> Whatever's left over on your brush. Oh, a couple wipes and I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm looking good. Okay, I don't even feel like, you know what? I don't even feel like much more makeup today. I feel like I'm, I don't have much makeup on. I feel good. Um, all I'd like now, Possibly this lips, lip gloss, okay? I might even just, you know, a little bit of that. Mm. And it's a pleasure to use the products. It's a pleasure. There we go. I haven't even contoured or highlighted um, my face. You don't have to. I have lost, um, I weighed myself today. I've been really self-improving. I've lost nine, like two days ago, it was 8.8 .8 kilos. Yesterday, it was 9.3 kilos. So in one day, I lost half a kilo because, you know, it's every day's efforts. It's what you put into your body today that's fueling your body, that's giving you energy, and it's going to result in tomorrow's on the scale or tomorrow how you feel. And guess what? I just was curious. I weighed myself this morning. I'm 100 grams less again. And I ate four slices of pizza last night with a girlfriend out for dinner. Um, it was vegetarian. It was beautiful. And, you know, I didn't eat a whole pizza. And I thought, that's good carbs. I'm working out. I'm lifting weights. My body needs fuel. Um, I didn't gorge myself. That was I was satisfied and it was enough. And I even, I even drank some cider, a glass of um, recorder leg, I think it was. And I also had half a, I guess my mother-in-law made me a pavlova um, and I shared it. It was like this long, I kid you not, it was one of those like half rolled over pavs, um, like, like a scroll thing. In that whole thing, it had half a cup of caster sugar. So that's not too bad. I'm trying, I really don't want to be consuming sugar at all. It has the same effect on your brain as caster sugar, but... Um, oh, sorry, what I see, I'm half asleep. It has the same effect on your brain as cocaine. That's what sugar does. It's addictive and it's a horrible addiction. And when you get off sugar, you feel on top of the world. You don't understand this feeling because your body is needing it. You go high, you go low. And I'm on a high all the time now. And um, my I just feel amazing and I want to share that with you and, you know, tell you that you're worth it and you can do this. And if you want to join my team, I'm here to lift you up and I'm happy to say that I'm signing up at two new consultants by the end of the month. Um, and I'm going to get them by the end of the year to be our national vice president. Um, and with Arbon. And I'm going to get my Mercedes Benz by the end of the year. And guess what? The best thing is in this company, it's not a company car. It is my car. It's in my name and I earned it. And for the non-believers, I will be showing them and I'll show them at the end of the year. And you know what? By the end of the year, if they want to join my team, I'll happily take them on and I will show them how it's done. I'm not here to bring anyone down. Um, <clears throat> that's negativity and once you let go of negativity in your life, you will succeed and you will thrive and, you know, the rest will follow. You don't have to, <clears throat> you don't have to force anyone because they'll see it and they'll see you're true to yourself. You're true to them and you want to help them. And um, 
I'm getting all choked up now. So I'm going to go enjoy my birthday. Um, one more year older. Um, feeling 10 years younger. And it's all thanks to my trainer, Don Grant. If he's even watched this, it goes for 25 minutes and I'm in my PJs. I don't think he has, but he has been a life changer. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to exercise tonight to kettlebells. And in six months, I've been training with him. I know I was only going two days a week for six months, but now I'm pushing it and I'm excited. I know I want to go more and um, I love it. And I, I don't know what I'd do without it. And I'm seeing improvements. Um, you know, not, it's not the weight loss, it's strength, it's endurance. And it's, you know, I can actually run around like a headless chook all the time and have so much energy. And he's giving me that. And you know what? I've, I did my first PT yesterday. I have achieved things that my I, my mind, I didn't think I could, and I didn't think my body could do that, but because someone believed in me, someone above me that I respected, and that has done amazing things, and he's trained amazing people, for him to believe that I can do that, I, I've got to listen to that and go in my head, if he thinks I can do it, I've got, I must, I've got it, I could do it, and I'll keep believing, because that's what it is. And, you know, it's mind over matter and it is hardcore training and it's day in and day out. But you will thank yourself and you will, you know, you will love yourself for it. And I can't believe, I can't wait to show you my results. Um, I've got a six year goal. I've got an end of a year goal. If you don't have a goal and you don't have a date, an end date, it's just a dream. Make, write down your goals. If you do anything today, write down your goals and write down a date, an end date, and aim for the stars and try your hardest and don't get knocked down. If you don't reach that goal, extend that date just that little bit, you know, try again. Never give up. Love you all. I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast. I'm going to the bridge. $10 brekkie. Yay. And I'm still going to training tonight. I'm feeling a bit sore and sorry for myself. First PT yesterday. I did um, three minute round, um, three sets of one minute rounds on the bench press, non-assisted. So this is, you know, I'm using all sorts of muscles I didn't think I had. Um, my trainer said, try and get 45 reps, pumping them out with 20 kilos. Like, come on, I'm a girl, but wow. Um, you know, and the first minute I got 20, pumped them out and I did not think I could do that. And I did. And I am on top of the world because of that. I'm sore. My chest is sore. I've got separation in my chest between my boobs. It's like, wow, you know, um, and I worked on my delts yesterday. My lats are sore, but I'm, I'm high on life. I want you to be there with me. I want you to enjoy life. I want you to wake up and go, this is not, this is not, I'm not waking up and working for someone else. I'm working for myself. And you know, I, I'm doing this for myself and I'm doing it for others and I'm making them feel good. And, you know, if you make other people feel good, you feel good. Um, another thing is go up to someone today, anyone, and just smile. It releases endorphins with you. And if I'm happy, you know, they're going to be happy. That people, try it. Try it. Anyone, just a stranger, just walk past them and smile. I guarantee you they will smile back because... A smile releases endorphins within us, ourselves, and when we smile at someone else, it releases endorphins for them and it makes them feel good. And that's what life's about. It's about giving back and giving plenty. So I've done a lot of self-growth and I've grown up a lot and I've got a lot to share with you, but I love you all and I can't believe I've been talking. Well, I, actually I can because I can talk a lot. Yeah, everyone knows me, but nearly half an hour. Um, I've got to go. Love you all. Bye.